Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a pack with me vlog. And I'm calling this a vlog, but it's not really a vlog. It's more just like a pack with me video. Um, some of you may remember that I said that I am off to Greece on Saturday. Oh, I'm out of breath, I just ran up the stairs. Um, yeah, I'm off to Greece on Saturday. It's now currently Thursday, so I am packing a little bit early, but I'm just a very highly organised person and I really like to get things done within plenty of time so I thought that I would kill two birds with one stone and film this packing video whilst I actually pack. So I'm just going to kind of talk you through what I have going on in my room right now. Um, I have stuff everywhere but I'm just going to kind of show you my method and how I prep and pack for a holiday like this. So I'm going with my friend, uh, one of my besties, we're going to Rhodes and we are going for, I think it works out as five days and five nights. So theoretically I need 10 outfits. We have hand luggage each and we're actually sharing a big kind of hold all case. So if it gets lost, then we're both screwed, but fingers crossed it won't. I think we're kind of regretting deciding to share a case now just because um, we have realised how small the EasyJet hand luggage dimensions actually are. I swear when I was younger they used to be way bigger than this. It might be a little bit of a squeeze but I'm sure we'll manage it. So I'm packing quite light for this holiday um, and I'm hoping that I can squeeze it all in. So I've got my suitcase out on the bed um, and I am only going to fill up half of it. I've got Maple here in her favourite spot. Hello, yeah, that's you. I said your name, didn't I? I don't know why, but she just loves to like nuzzle herself in between all the cushions, don't you? Don't you? Oh, shall I pack you? God, I'm gonna miss her so much. Um, anyway, so I have hanging up the clothes I'm gonna take. Here are my evening outfits. The first night we get there really, really late, so I haven't packed a um, outfit for that. So I've just got four evening looks, all very neutral, and then lots of linen, um, shirts, trousers for the daytime, and then down there, my shoes. Up here, I have laid out the jewellery that I'm going to be taking. Over here, hand luggage stuff. Eagle eyes will spot my new purchase. And then accessories, toiletries, pyjamas, a few other bits and bobs over here. So yes, back to this new purchase. I got this for myself to use as my hand luggage. Um, I have wanted a Louis Vuitton Keeper for the longest time. This is the 45 size, just so I could use it as hand luggage. I thought there's no point in me buying a bigger one just for the sake of it and not being able to take it on a plane. So I got this off Vestiaire. As you can see, it's obviously vintage. Um, there are a few little kind of markings on it here and here. I just love that about it. Um, it's a little bit squished at the moment from the packaging, but I just think of all the stories that this bag could tell, you know, what places has it been to? And it's got the long strap as well, the border layer, which um, I really, really wanted for just ease. So. That is my hand luggage. It actually fits quite a bit in, surprisingly. Passport, Euros, my favourite little travel wallet. I don't know where this is from. I'm sure you can buy these like on Amazon or something. Portable charger. This is for my uh, makeup that I'm gonna be taking in my hand luggage. AirPods, obviously. So what I'm gonna do first is actually show you how I planned my outfits um, because that I feel like is the key to packing a good holiday case is knowing what you are going to wear. Now sometimes I try on all my outfits and take pictures so I know what I'm going to wear. Um, so I can just look back on my phone and go, oh yep, yeah, this is the outfit I had in mind. But I didn't really um, have time to do that this week. So what I did instead... So I used uh, this app that I have called Canva. Um, it's not free, but I use it for like uh, work stuff. So. Um, I use this to put together my holiday outfits. So as you can see, airport look is this black linen shirt and my Zara police say trousers. I also have the matching black linen shorts hanging up there as well, which you will see is another one of my outfits. Also got the Birkenstock there for comfort. Um, we've got linen shirt and linen trousers here again, hanging up. 
Then obviously pretty lavish jumpsuit, recycling the linen shirt and this is one of the skirts I'm going to be wearing in the evening. I was actually originally planning on taking a different white dress but then the Zara white dress came back in stock so I ordered this one and I am obsessed with it. It's such a gorgeous fit and it's like a linen blend as well so it's so perfect for holiday. Once again, recycling the uh, black linen shirt to go with the shorts that I mentioned. Another evening outfit. This is from Naked, this set, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Packing a pair of wedges as well, just in case. Um, and then we've got cream trousers. These are ones hanging up here, just to go with the plain black bikini. This one's from Naked. The Meshki set, which I think you've all seen before for another evening. And then striped shirts, that's hiding under there somewhere. With, again, the black police trousers from the airport. And then the airport look home. Again, really making the most of that black linen shirt. So those are my holiday outfits. Um, I hope I can kind of stick to that. Um, but as you can see, like everything kind of mixes and matches. So I can make quite a few different looks out of the pieces that I'm taking and they're all really like lightweight pieces. Obviously I will link everything down below in the description box for you in case you want to shop any of it. Um, and now we're gonna get into the packing. So I'm gonna start with everything that is going in my case um, because there are still a few bits like my Dyson and a couple of toiletries that I will need to fit into my hand luggage. So um, there's no point in me like packing that up right away. But everything that can go in the case can go in there and stay in there for the moment. So first of all, I'm gonna do shoes. Um, so we have my Hermes Oran sandals, which you guys will have seen or know what they look like. They are the tan ones. And I am so tempted by the black, but I think I'm gonna be sensible and wait until maybe next spring. Cause I don't think there's any point in me getting another pair of these now because there's just not that much of summer left to wear them is there I might as well wait until like March time next year and then treat myself so I've obviously got them in the dust bags and because these are an expensive shoe I'm actually going to put them in my hand luggage I know I said I start with the case but these are going in my hand luggage because I cannot afford to lose these I need them with me at all times so they're going over here the rest of my shoes however can go straight in. So these are the Nomadic State of Mind sandals, which I love. They are super flimsy. They're literally just like made out of rope. Um, and I have one of these, God, they've got hair all over them. Gross. Um, I've got one of these like Zara kind of dust bags um, to protect them because they are just so flimsy. Um, I also feel like these dust bags are so handy to like put sun cream and stuff in you know sun cream if it leaks it goes all in your bag and whatever these are just good to pop stuff in like even wet swimwear or something so those are going right down the side then have the only pair of heels i'm taking these wedges these are from zara they're like a vinyl cork wedge i think they call them they're super comfy and just in case i need a pair of heels i feel like i'm probably going to be going more for flats um so i'll be wearing the aura and sandals quite a bit because they're quite a nice kind of like smart flat um, but just in case I need a heel, I've got these. And then last but not least, I have my black Zara Home flip-flops, which I live in. Um, so they are going in as well. I also have my Birkenstock, but obviously I am wearing these to the airport, so don't need to pack them. What I'm actually going to do now is fill out the spaces um, that my shoes have created with my underwear. Um, so don't look. So I am now going to pack this striped set. I am going to put... Um, my shorts and a couple of pairs of trousers and a shirt in my hand luggage, hopefully, um, just in case, you never know. Um, but this, I'm gonna pop in uh, the Holdall. Such a versatile set this, I've worn this here in the UK, but I do think it's just perfect for holiday because it's kind of like silky and thin and super comfortable. So next up, I have a couple of accessories that I do not want to lose their shape. So I have my straw hat here. <laughs> which I got from ASOS a little while ago, and I have my Loewe basket bag. Now, normally I would take this on the plane, um, but I can't do that because it's not big enough for my hand luggage. So I'm gonna pop it in the case and try and pack it out with maybe my pajamas or something like that. These, by the way, are my pajamas. They are beautiful. So they're like white linen trousers, and then the top is just 
stunning. It's like a wrap top like this, kind of like a kimono style thing with with a gorgeous belt. But I got these from Deji Studios. I think they're on Netta Porter, but so perfect. The perfect holiday pajamas. Also a really good like sitting on the balcony eating crisps outfit before you go out. So I've then got this outfit from Naked. Gorgeous like crochet skirt and then crochet top as well. Super pretty. And I'm basically just gonna stuff this inside my hat um, so that that keeps its shape. Ta-da! <laughs> also got this super cute little cream knot bag from the Novu Edit. I have the same one in black as well and I love it. It's now time for this Pretty Lavish jumpsuit. This is quite, I'm not gonna say bulky because it's not bulky, but it's probably like the biggest um, item of clothing that I have. So this definitely has to go in the case. I actually have a little disposable camera that I'm gonna pop in the case as well just to take some pictures. Now basically the bulkiest and heaviest items are my toiletries bags. So I've managed to fit everything into these two. This one's from Zara, but it's super old. And this is um, an Amora Vixa one. And they are basically gonna go down the side here. So I actually managed to fit all of my swimwear into this little black pouch, but I think I'm gonna separate it. I'm gonna pop my Hansa G bikini and swimsuit um, in the hand luggage. Got a nice cream one, an old from H&M, which can go in there nicely. Got a white one from Summer Swim. I'm not really showing you these in great detail, but they will be linked down below. A Couple of other bits to squeeze in. I've got a few packets of eyelashes and some little perfumes to take with me. Um, pop them in the pouch just in case anything happens to them. So I'm thinking I might have room for this Zara dress as well in the suitcase. So that's gonna go in. It's just such a gorgeous dress. I hope it's still online when I post this video. So pretty. So the only other thing left to pop in the case, I think, is a little bit of makeup in the morning. Um, and my jewellery, so I'm going to put my jewellery away now. So obviously next up is the hand luggage. Um, I'm going to start with the clothes at the bottom, I think. Um, and no, I'm going to start with my shoes at the bottom, and then clothes, and then the other bits and pieces that I don't really need to get to, and then all the important stuff on top. my cute little Jacquemus bucket hat and my Jacquemus bag. Gotta keep these on me at all times. So the only other thing that I'm slightly worried about trying to fit in this hand luggage is my air wrap. Um, I have to take it with me. I don't think there's any way I can be without it. So I'm gonna see if I can squeeze it in, but I don't think it's gonna fit. Okay, so I decided to take the air wrap out of this and just put it in loose and it seems to have worked. So really, the only other things that I need to pack are my makeup, which I can't do until the morning, and my phone charger. And I think that that's it. I think everything else, oh, my toothbrush. I think everything else is done. So this is what the inside of the holder is looking like at the moment. Bit of a mess, but I've got a few clothes down there in the bottom and some swimwear, sunglasses, the Jacquemus bits, the air wrap in loose, and then all the important things are in there. And that does leave a little bit of room for my charger and some makeup as well. And then I've managed to fit everything into my half of the case. And I had to put these trousers in um, which I was going to pack in my hand luggage and the dress as well, of course. But everything else seems to be fitting in okay. So now we just have to hope that the case is not overweight. So that is the end of my packing video. I am all ready for my holiday now. 
very excited like i said i won't be vlogging it or anything i will be vlogging when i get back so i will tell you all about it and if you want to see what i get up to then you can follow me on instagram because i will be posting about it over there um but yeah that's it basically i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it wasn't too sporadic of me and i hope maybe you got some tips or maybe just like some of the clothes that i showed you if you did enjoy this video it would be amazing if you could give it a like and if you are new to my channel i would love it if you subscribed and i will see you all very soon with another video bye